everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts. This is the project that I'm doing for the Cards TV design team that I'm on. On I'm on the 3D design team. Now I've been patiently waiting for the um, new Cricut cartridge that came out. I think it's called Box It Up, um, and I wanted to use that for my project this week, but um, it didn't come. So I'm going to go ahead and do something that I'm familiar with. That I've done these boxes before. And I'm going to add some really fun things to it as well. So the stamp set that I'm using is Good Times, and I'm going to be using May All Your Wish, or May All Your Birthday Wishes Come True. And look at all these cute sayings: Celebrate You, Young at Heart, Party Animal, Paint the Town Red, Good Times, An Inch to Grow On, Age is Age is Just a Number. I like that one. Happy Birthday to You. Here's to You. Here's a Happy Birthday. It always comes in handy. Age Perfection, Age to Perfection. Um, your only is old as you feel. Hmm, I can relate to that. Um, let the good times roll. Party to the cows come in. I, that would be so cute with a little cow from like create a critter on it. Um, I think forever young and party hardy. I think I got all of them. So adorable, adorable. Thank you, Mary, so much. Let's get started on this now. Um, this is a box from the Sweet Tooth Box cartridge and it's this one here. And I did this box at the recommended 10 and a half inches. And then um, I used the scallop lid. And you do this one at 10 and a half inches as well. Now it doesn't actually come out, it's 10 and a half inches, but that's what the size of it is. And um, I'm also gonna be using uh, celebrations. And I used the three candles here and I did not have to cut these out because I'm interchanging. So you'll see what I did in a minute. All right, let's put our box together first. And oh, by the way, this is Stampin' Up! paper. So it's solid, um, not solid, but less of a pattern. It's not these dotted um, Swiss sort of things, it's circles. So I love, love that they're, it's double-sided. And um, these boxes on the Sweet Tooth boxes have the tick lines, so it makes it real easy. My bone folder was sticking. I thought I had a piece of score tape on it. Um, it makes it real easy to put these together. Now there's definitely something on this here. Let's try this. This is from my little mini Martha Stewart. Well, that one works a little better anyway. Um, so you just kind of follow the tick lines. Like I said, it's real simple. Real quick little, you know, coffee cup gift box or you can put a cupcake in here. But you have to be kind of careful because um, it doesn't, you can't make too big of a cupcake. I um, mean, you don't want to like bounce it around too much, right? Or the cupcake will get all smooshed up. All right, so um, the way it's going to work is you're going to be folding in this side, this side, and then these two sides here. So let's put our score tape on. I always use score tape on my boxes. Every once in a while I'll fudge with some glue, but I think score tape really does hold the best. You could even put, um, you know, if this was for a, a child, you could even put a little toy in this box. It'd be something different than, you know, a gift bag or just wrapping it. I don't know. Um, maybe like a Game Boy game? It's been a while since I've had to buy those. My kids don't play with those anymore. Alright, so we're going to take our... I'll just put that there for now. I thought my trash can was here next to me, but I moved it. And with these boxes, you know, they end up being so sturdy that um, you don't need really, really thick um, card or, or card stock. Um, now, if you're going to put something heavy in it, like a coffee cup, you would you would want to do that. But if it's just a light little gift, you could like a cupcake or something. You could just use like the Stampin' Up card stock. See, it's it's um, not real thick, but it works. And we're going to fold these two sides in. Then we're going to make the lid. I'm just kind of pressing down here and there to make sure 
that I've got that on all correctly. And there you have your box. How cute is that? Now we'll go to the lid. Same for the lid, it's got the little tick lines. And you just follow those little tick lines and press down with your bone folder. Give it a nice crease. You know, sometimes when I make these projects, I may not need them, you know, like immediately after I, I make it. Um, but I have a, a shelf in my garage that I put my projects on. And if a birthday comes up or something like that, then, you know, I have it already made. Okay, and the same thing's going to go for this. You're going to put these in here and these in here. And I'm going to put the score tape on here. I'm going to go ahead and double up on that. Um, by the way, if you are on the Cards TV design team, I just wanted you all to know that I really am enjoying the projects that you guys are making with Mary's stamp sets. Um, she's got a new one coming out. I'm really excited about it, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. So there. That's the privilege that I have, but I've already, <laughs> I've already been creating projects in my head on um, what I'm going to be making using the, those stamps. Alrighty, I'll put this box together. Now just, I want to stop a minute and show you. See how I poked these holes in here? There's a reason for that. That did not do that on the, on the machine. I did that myself. But I wanted to do that before I put the box together. And like I said, I'll show you in a minute. I didn't do too good of a job creasing this one down. I probably missed it entirely. Let me just... I really like the scallop. It comes in... Um, all kinds of different designs. It, it, got, it has some that has um, like heart cut out in the middle and then one with um, just a box and so you can choose from whatever one you want. So that is our lid. Like so. Now the reason for the um, holes is because I'm going to take these candles or some of these candles that I cut out from the Celebrations Cricut cartridge. And um, what it does is it cuts out one with circles, a solid one, and one with stripes. So I'm going to pick the solid one for each color, and I chose uh, four colors. Green, blue, orange, and yellow. My solid blue one's hiding from me over here. And I'm missing the green one. And I'm going to go down here, just not with a scoreboard, but, um, you know, just maybe do like a fingertip up. And I'm going to put a little score line here that I'm going to fold. And do that for all of them. never fails when I do a video my phone rings and I always forget to take it out one of those derpy derp moments okay so again I'm just gonna do a little bit of a score line now on the back of this I'm going to use my um, what I had set out my really thin uh, score tape which I must have buried it somewhere. I'll use this. I have it out, so. Find the end. Um, I'm going to use the dotted side. And the score tape is only going to go to the end of where that score line is. Like so. Peel that off. And then I'm going to take these little, I have these little mini dowels. 
and I'm going to stick that dowel on the back. Now I want it to go all the way down here. <laughs> My square tape, tape keeps grabbing at it. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Now, if you wanted to, which I just might do that, we could put the back side of the candle like this. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to use the score tape. I was thinking glue, but I think the score tape would work better. This way you don't see the actual stick. As much. You can kind of see it, but not so much. And um, my first intention was to put the stick behind it and then it was going to go inside the box like this. But now that I have the front and the back of the candle, I really did not need to score that bottom. That's okay. So here we're going to go like this. And we're going to use a yellow um, tip here, or a little light, candle light. And glue that on. Oops, a little bit too much. I'm going to kind of tilt it to the side. And that should start drying on its own. Okay, so let's do the other ones. We'll get the yellow and this one. I got those little mini dowels at Michael's, but I'm sure um, Joanne's would have them too. Or Beverly's or um, maybe even Hobby Lobby. I, I don't have any Hobby Lobbies around close to me. They're like an hour and a half away, so I don't shop there. Okay, again, I want to make it so that the um, doweling stays down here so I can slide that inside the box. Square tape on that. If you really wanted this to stay in good, which you do, or I do, I speak for myself here, um, I'm going to want to put some glue in that. My, um, my two little holes are off a little bit. I'm not sure both of, both of you, I'm sure all of you are noticing that, or I would if I saw somebody doing this, I could say, hey, wait, they're not even which I should have paid more attention to. Okay, put my dowling in. Score tape on top. You could probably use this idea um, to do candles on top of a little 3D birthday cake to have the candles sticking in the top of the birthday cake. We'll put the little lights, the candle lights on in a minute. I need one more dowling. Here we go. So I have my green, I need my blue. Almost done here. I'm gonna put it some really cute uh, yellow, I mean um, orange and white polka dot ribbon on this. Add a little glue. And I'm going to interchange the colors of the little candle lights. So let's put a blue one on the yellow and how about an orange one on the blue and 
a green one on the orange. Okay, now I'm going to take this lid off because I'm going to be moving the box around a bit. This is that cute little ribbon I was talking about. And second I don't want to lose my thought here this is Mary's stamp and I'm trying to grab it a little acrylic block that I forgot to take out this is may all your wishes come true using some black archival ink and I'm stamping this um, at an angle as well. And trim the sides down. And I did this because I want it to go across the card like so. Corner this as well. Because I wanted the um, little candles to be able to show the candles through here like that and I don't actually have my stuff ready to do it the back it's gonna go like this I'm gonna make that just a little bit bigger I do have a bigger hole punch but it's not handy okay so now what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna go ahead and tie this And there's that. I'm not really liking how this turned out. I had the idea that I just didn't didn't execute very well, did it? It's okay. No, I don't like that. We'll take this off. But it was a good try. I'll go ahead and tie the bow. Make it so you can see the. Am I completely off camera? Jeez. All right, success. Now, what to do with Mary's little tag? I think. Can't say I didn't try, right? go get my little Tim Holtz stapler out here Oops. sorry about that make this bow a little smaller still fussing with the bow I know Just not a good bow person. Only if I use my bow maker. 
Okay, now I want to cut these tails really, really short. About the same size as the bow. And then you can even put adhesive or, um, you know, like a little bit of glue here to hold the ribbon down so it doesn't slide off the box. I guess that's good enough. All right, let's see how it looks with the lid on it. Okay, not too bad. Okay, so there's the little box with the little candles popping up like that and the little tag. May all your wishes come true. And I absolutely love this paper. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day.